um, God's really been speaking to me a lot about um, how he brings peace out of chaos, order out of chaos. Um, he spoke to me actually about it a while ago, I think last summer. I was just really reminded that, you know, God is a God who brings order, he brings peace. Um, there's this um, phrase in Genesis 1, you know, when it talks about the creation uh, of the worlds and um, it says that the world was formless or, or some sort of word like that. The, the literal word, the, the Hebrew word that's used there is this lovely little phrase, tohu verbohu, um, which, which literally translated is sort of like topsy-turvy. Uh, in 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 English, so you've got you've got this phrase then becomes the world was topsy turvy. Um, so sometimes I think we we think that God created the world out of nothing, um, but actually a lot of scholars have this chaos camp sort of theology, and that actually God what what God was speaking into was chaos. He was speaking into darkness. He was speaking into chaos. And out of the chaos, he brings order. Out of that, out of his word being spoken, he brings peace, order, um, and and has victory over, over the chaos, over the darkness. And I was just reminded of of that sort of uh, thought and rhetoric um, over the last days. You know, um, obviously, I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock if you didn't realise that things are a little bit strange at the moment. Um, you know, and, and people are people are worried. You can sense that when you go into a supermarket and there's no toilet roll, it's really inconvenient. <laughs> um, or there's no pasta or potatoes and things that you can normally buy. Um, and you can sense that people are worried. People are worried about family members. People... Um, are concerned that it feels like nobody knows what to do. Um, there's certainly unprecedented times. Um, and, you know, we're turning to government who are doing a great job, but obviously they've never experienced this before and everyone is just a little bit overwhelmed, I'd say, you know. Um, and it can feel very chaotic. It can feel like everything is in turmoil no one knows uh if if there's something's going to be if an event's going to be on a few weeks down the line no one really knows what's happening it can it can feel very chaotic very uh topsy-turvy very overwhelming and i just wanted to remind you today that god is a god that from the beginning he speaks into the chaos and he has victory over the chaos. He brings order out of chaos. And we see that, don't we, in, in the New Testament, you know, where um, the disciples are on the boat. And, uh, and, Jesus, and there's waves as high as you can imagine. And Jesus speaks into that storm. He speaks into that chaos of the waves. And the waves are stilled. And, and the, the disciples are... They they marvel at it because they're like even the wind and the waves obey him, and um, I think it's just important to remember that even in this moment, even in these times, God is still powerful. He is still God. He still sits on the throne. He still does what he does. He still um, <laughs> has victory, and often it can it can feel like. You don't know what's happening, but God does. He has it in his hands. Um, so really, for me, this this morning, um, it's just an encouragement to, to remember that God, he brings order out of chaos. He speaks into dark situations and brings light and life. Um, so yeah, be encouraged this morning, and I pray you have a great day. See you later.